Thanks for saying, family. We're back. We're here with Jay Burner. Yo. Jay Burner said he prays and meditates. I do. Listen, that's, you know what? I see this new shift, though, with hip hop. I mm -hmm. see that more people are more in tune with their mental stability and being balanced and that whole, you know, that unison and, you know, having that self love and right. self control and e efficacy. Mm -hmm. What's up with the prayer and meditation? I mean, as a kid, I used to go through like a lot of depression. Oh. So I used to try to figure out, like, what I could do to get out of it. And then I came across like aligning your chakras yes. and balancing yourself like that. And there was just one lady out of nowhere that just was just like, uh, you're disaligned. Mm. Like you notice how you achieve everything you want, but once you achieve it, it feels like you have to redo it or you have to start from bottom again. And I was, and she was just like, you gotta get aligned. So I started researching and all that stuff. And then I became like very like, you know, I'm big on the law of attraction. The first book I fully read was like the seven laws of success. Oh, yeah. So it was just like spiritual laws of success. I mean, I was just like, I'm big on mental and I'm an artist and my music has to evoke the same emotion that it evokes in me. So that's my thing. Amen. Yeah. Jay, you know, some <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. So what allowed you to receive that and be receptive to it? Because not too many people are going to say, man, lady, get out my face. Like, what are you talking about? I'm disaligned. Lady, I, right, you on one. Yeah, no, nah, I'm a student. So, like, I'm a student to life. I'm a student to music. I'm a student to information. So, like, if you got something to tell me that I don't know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it in. And then I'm going to go research it myself to see if it's valid or not. Huh. And if it's valid or not, I'm going to enhance it to my liking to, to make it work for me. That is really dope. Yeah. So you start? did you start off praying in the church and all that spiritually? I mean, I grew up, my mom's Jehovah Witness. Okay. Like, so I didn't I didn't grow up in the, like, the traditional church. Okay, so you didn't celebrate a thing. Nothing. So you still don't? I, I mean, I look out for my daughter, like, on her birthday and stuff like that. But, okay. like, holidays, your daughter? she's five. Nice. I don't do the, I'm not like the traditional holiday person. Though. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that makes sense with everything else you're saying yeah. about alignment and yeah. So you typically, you narrate your own story. Yeah, I mean, I do me. Like, I'm always in my own lane. Like, I was just like having this conversation about like when you drive, like if you ever on the highway or on a regular road, you notice like in the turning lane, everybody jumps in the car behind the light and they're all in the same lane. And then mm -hmm. the, the lane next to it is empty. Right. And then once you jump into that lane, every car follows. Follow. follow. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just, that's been me my whole life. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And your name, Jay Burner. How did that derive? Um, my first name was actually Jay Black because of my complexion, obviously. Okay. Like, I've always been, like, big on, like, letting people know I'm dark. So it was Jay Black. I don't think you had to let people know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a joke first, <laughs> and now it's, like, my, my biggest compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But, um, yeah, I was just, like, I used to have a liking for, like, firearms and stuff like that. I was oh, always the kid burn that, up. yeah, burn ah. up, yeah. Okay. So, it just, it was it just. It stuck. It stuck. And then people just kept calling me Jay Burner. Does it take on a different meaning now? Yeah, it's, I'm hot. Okay, I'm okay. Fire. Okay. <laughs> I ain't there. <laughs> so, you don't necessarily, like, you represent the culture but mm -hmm. you don't necessarily like it's not plastered everywhere is there a reason for that i mean yeah i mean i'm if you google me it says haitian american artists of course yeah but so. i mean you know how some people like in every song you know um where it's more i know you're haitian right i believe like your your um fan base like haitians they know that you're right. haitian because we know we typically look and gravitate towards you know right. our people right but i'm saying like let's say a white person or caucasian person or whatever if they didn't know your music through and through right would they know off rip like you're haitian yeah i was just on revolt and they asked me why i'm like so like why did they see that i'm haitian american so much like you know some people don't really say it like that like, right right but like yeah i i'm probably not as like is a odd fact is like I've been around for majority of the American artists that put out Haitian anthems. Like I was in the mm -hmm. studio when Black Daughter recorded right. on Zo. Uh -huh. Like I was like Lajo Slim Haitian record. I'm I'm his big homie. Like stuff like this. Like a lot of the anthem records for being Haitian. You're on, you're I'm, there. You're I was, present. Yeah. So okay. like, and you feel like that th it, there needs to be, you know, your presence needs to you know say that like you need to solidify it every time. 
I mean, I would want to. Mm-hmm. I definitely would want to. I mean, not that you're saying it. Like, I would plaster it more, but I don't let nobody <laughs> not forget that I'm Haitian. So Love like, it. Ugh. Love it. Thanks to Sank family. We'll be right back in just a few. Yeah.